in this lesson is on uh, relating uh, tenths uh, and decimals. So we're going to change uh, fractions to decimals here. So, so our common core is uh, stated above, and this lesson is going to allow us to understand how uh, decimal notation for fractions compares with uh, decimals, with comparing decimals with fractions. So how can we uh, record tenths as fractions and decimals? All right, so. Let's, uh, so decimals are used when uh, one or more digits are to the right of the decimal point. So for example, you guys, uh, 20. When we see 20, and when there's no decimal there, it's understood to be uh, to the right of the last one, uh, the last number right there. So 20 is the same as 20 point, um, which is the same as 20.0, which is the same as 20.00. 20 point, zero zero. 20 point you can add as many zeros if you want. Uh, depending on what place you want to end it in, so so here uh, this is ended in the in the tenths spot. Here this zero is ended in the hundredths spot. So you always look at the rightmost digit. So here and so this one's going to be the tenths, the hundredths, the the thousandths. This would be the ten thousandths. This would be the hundred thousandths spot. So we're not going to deal with that today. But but if I wanted to carry it out to that, that would be. Uh, ending in the hundred thousandths spot. Now they end with THS on those. So here's a, a big number, and I wrote a big number right here, one, one, two, three, point, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I wrote it big so I can talk about the decimals right here. This, this is uh, 123, so this one right here is in the hundreds spot, okay? And then the two is in the tens spot. The three is in the ones spot. Okay, now I should have wrote it in there and I didn't, but the decimal is the word for and. There should be a little word and right there, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, so this four right here is, is this is where the THFS starts, THS. So this is in the tenths spot. So it's not the once spot. They don't have a once with a THS. It starts in the tenths spot. So right after the decimal is your tenth spot. So the next one is going to be your hundredth spot. So the five ends in the hundredth spot. Then it goes into the thousandths spot. Okay, and then the seven would be the ten thousandths spot. The eight would be the hundred thousandths spot. And the nine would be the, the millionths spot. Now, we're only going to be dealing with, uh, actually, with the tenths spot right here. But I'll, uh, we'll, we'll do the hundredth spot because that's coming up in a, in a future lesson shortly. So we'll, we'll only, we're only dealing with the tenths spot right here. Okay, so here we go. Um, and then four, since that's in the tenth spot, then it represents four tenths. So that would be four tenths. And this five ends in the hundredth spot, so that would represent five one hundredths. Okay, we'll talk more about that later as the lessons progress. Okay, so here we go. So Ty is reading a book about, a, uh, about gardening. He has read seven tenths of the book. What decimal describes the part of the book that Ty has read. Okay, so uh, here's a model. Uh, uh, one way we're going to use a model and place value chart. So here's a model of the fraction, and this model is divided into ten equal parts, each part that represents one tenth of this right here. So what we're going to do is shade seven tenths of this model. So we're going to shade seven of these rectangles right here, and that'll be seven tenths of that model. So there's seven of them, seven of the ten being shaded right there. So this shows seven tenths and is read as seven tenths. Okay, that's that's nothing new. That should be familiar with you guys right there. Okay, so um, uh, so I just put it up there, and then so now we're going to write this as a decimal. Okay, so since there uh, there's no number in front of that, then it's considered that the the ones is zero right there. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and put the ten, uh, the decimal right there, and this is seven tenths. So I'm going to put a seven in the tenth spot right there. Okay, so we're going to represent that as zero point seven. Okay, so seven tenths. Seven ends in the tenth spot right there. It's the first uh, position after the decimal, so zero point seven. So 0 0.7 is also read as 7 tenths, okay? Uh, so here's another way. We're going to use a number line right here. So label uh, the number line with decimals that are equivalent to the fractions. So we're going to first locate the point 7 tenths right here. Okay, so I've divided it up from, it went from 0 to 1. So here's 0, 0.0 all the way up to 1.0. And there's, it's divided up into 10 equal spots right here. So right here is a fraction. This would be 0 tenths. This would be 1 tenth, 2 tenth, 3 tenths, 4 tenth, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths. Okay, this is our hero right here, 7 tenths. Okay, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and this would be 10 tenths right there. Okay, 
So there's that right there, and I put a dot there at seven tenths because that's what we're representing right here. Then as decimals, you guys, this would be this is 0, 0.0, so this is going to be 0 0.1. This is going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and finally uh, uh, 1.0. Okay, so uh, there it is. Uh, uh, 0 0.7 is the same as 7 tenths, and they're both read as 7 tenths right there. Okay, so 0 0.7 names the same amount as 7 tenths. So tie read 7 tenths of the book. 0 0.7 is the same as 7 tenths. Okay, so explain uh, how the size of one whole is related to the size of one tenth. Well, one whole is ten times is the size of one tenth. Okay, so if they ask you that, then you're just going to say one whole is ten times the size of one tenth. Okay, how can you write 0 0.1 as a fraction and explain? Okay, well this okay, this ends in the tenth spot, so one is in the tenth spot, so this represents one tenth. Okay, so so the digit one is in the tenth place, so zero point one is one tenth or one tenth. Okay, all right, it sounds kind of funny, but there, this says the same thing as this. Um, uh, point one is in the tenth spot, so it said one tenth or or fraction wise one tenth right there. Okay, all right, so this next example is going to show us how to write a mixed number as a decimal. Okay, so here we go. Destiny rode her bicycle for one and six tenths of a mile. Now, did you catch that? I said one and six tenths of a mile. Remember, the and is your decimal spot. So if you see, hear the word and, this says one and six tenths of a mile right here. So and will be our decimal. So this will be one point six tenths. So it's going to be one point six. We'll, we'll write just uh, shortly. So what decimal describes how far she rode her bike? Well, I just said it. Okay, so here's one way. Use a model and a place value. So here's our model. We're going to shade one and six tenths of a model. So I'm going to shade this whole ten out of a ten and then six out of ten on this guy right here. All right, there is here is one and six tenths or one plus six tenths, okay, which equals one and six tenths, okay. Now look, it says one and six tenths. The and is your decimal in place value. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that as a decimal. So one and six tenths is one whole and six tenths. So remember, and is my decimal. So one and six tenths is 1.6. So 1.6 says the same thing as one and six tenths. Okay, easy enough, huh? Another way is to uh, do the number line trick again. So on top, I, I went from one to two this time. So 1.0 to 2.0. And up here, this would be one and zero tenths all the way up to two and zero tenths. So one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths is going to be one and four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, and that's our hero right there. One and six tenths, seven tenths, one and eight tenths, one and nine tenths, and finally, there we go. This would be one and ten tenths, which is the same as two, which is the same as two and and uh, zero tenths. Okay, on the bottom, this is going to be 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. It's that easy, you guys. And our hero is 1.6 is the same as one and six tenths. All right. So uh, 1.6 names the same amount as one and six tenths. So Destiny rode her, her bike 1.6 miles or one and six tenths of a mile. Okay, that says the same thing. This is one and six tenths of a mile. 1.6. Okay. So depending on what kind of mood your teacher is in. So try this, you guys. Write one as a fraction and as a decimal. Okay, whoo, one as a fraction. Well, let's shade this model and show this, you guys. So I'm going to shade, uh, so here's my representation of one right here. So uh, this is 10 tenths right here. I'm going to shade them all to represent one. So the fraction is going to be 10 tenths. And then, uh, uh, and then we're going to, you know, 10 over 10 is the same as one over one. So there it is as a fraction, one over one or 10 over 10, okay? And then uh, as a decimal, you guys, remember, one is the same as one whole and zero tenths, okay? The word and is my decimal, so I'm gonna put the decimal right here, 1.0 goes right there, boom, okay? It's that easy, so a decimal is 1.0. Okay, if you're finding these useful, it would be useful to me if you uh, click like, and, and if, if you could, if your parents would let you uh, click subscribe too. Take care, you guys.